Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Mark Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is hump day. It's uh, Wednesday and it's December 20th. Um, we got a just one economic news schedule for today, and that is existing home sales for the month of November. So back in October, we had 5.5%, 5.5 million uh, existing home sales, or at least on pace for that for the year. And forecast is supposed to go up a little bit in November at 5.59, and it exceeded that by quite a bit here at 5.81. So great numbers here we're seeing here. Of course, a lot of these are kind of uh, low in relative to what we have for inventory. We don't really have a lot of inventory, so these are being uh, uh, kept low on, I guess, by intention in a way. So uh, unfortunately, if we had more um, inventory, we would see a lot higher numbers here. But given what, what the circumstances with the low inventory, these are actually great numbers that we're seeing here. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, headline news. And stock market's a little mixed. Uh, stock market all started higher uh, in the morning and then uh, kind of pulled back a little bit. Uh, we Dow is the only one that's just kind of trickling above. It's up, you know, started off about 90 base points. Now it's about 16 basis points. Uh, and a lot of it might be just profit taking uh, from what we can see. We got some good data today, but uh, for the most part, it looks like it might be uh, we got the Santa Claus rally that's been kind of going, is what they've been dubbing it. And you may see that. You may have uh, a few of these uh, investors coming in here and profit taking uh, instead of keeping the rally uh, going, prolonging the rally. Uh, a, lot, a lot of this is on the heels of the tax reform. Now, we had it pass both uh, houses uh, from the House and the Senate, but because to a procedural um, violation or uh, uh, misstep in the House, um, they apparently didn't do something on the, it was called the bird rule, apparently uh, violated the bird rule. So today they're going to have to go back and re-vote, which they expected to go through. Uh, and then we expect it later t this afternoon, probably even on President uh, Trump's desk, to be signed into law. So it looks like they will get this tax uh, bill taken care of prior or, or be just before uh, Christmas here, which is uh, can be a good thing for a lot of people. Uh, check out my uh, Twitter, as I'll give you that uh, handle name in a little bit. But check out my Twitter. I did post, um, I found a, I was on CNBC, they had a, uh, with the House, the Senate, uh, of different categories uh, and what the final bill will entail. And there's a little diagram on there showing uh, a countdown of the, uh, the major items on there to note. And uh, you'll be able to see that on there. So uh, you can see if it helps you or hurts you, which uh, a lot of people in California, of course, are not too pleased because in the high cost states, uh, it's not helping too much due to the cap on the um, state and local um, uh, caps that they're putting on deductions here. So as we being living in a high cost state, uh, it's going to unfortunately hurt a lot of those people. But again, how much? Again, uh, I guess I'm I'm me personally. I'm gonna take it more as a wait and see approach. Uh, step back and see how much it will affect us. I'm sure it will affect us at some point. Affect us, but how much? I'm not really certain. I don't want to get into the exaggerations and stuff like that and uh, predictions and stuff like that. So. Let's take a look here at the bond market. The bond market, as you see, way down here. We've been just tanking, tanking, tanking. We even touched out the second resistance level here. Or, I'm mean, sorry, actually, we're now, this was a resistance level yesterday. Now it's becoming a floor, a ceiling of resistance. Now this, uh, now we're, and this was the second floor of uh, uh, support. Now it's becoming the first level of support. So, as you can see, we did touch off it earlier today. We had it much worse. Right now, we're about eight point a basis points lower than where we left off yesterday. So this is going to be pretty much, um, yeah, I would say rates have worsened from yesterday as a result. So depending on when, uh, uh, you know, uh, when lenders came out with the pricing, uh, you'll probably see a uh, probably change for the worse today as a result. They're going to probably urge to more of the conservative with the trim coming down greatly here and uh, moving in that direction here. All right, so the only thing that's going to really help out interest rates now is if they, you know, stock market decides to take some, uh, you know, to some type of uh, uh, break and do some profit taking. That might give us a temporary help. But for the most part, uh, look to see interest rates rise over the course of uh, time here in the near future. Uh, probably won't be seeing rates in a very good, uh, I mean, in what we've seen in the past in comparison to the past. These are still very good rates, but, you know, we've been kind of spoiled for good luck. Uh, low rates for so long that uh, we've become kind of spoiled. But in terms of uh, where we've been not too long ago, uh, you'll see rates kind of slowly climbing up here. 
All right, so and here's the 10 year treasury. And as you can see, this is uh, taken off uh, as we can project it, and it is uh, reaching the highest. So, uh, the further this goes away, the further it's going to push on the bonds to a lower direction, and interest rates will go up. So, the yields, are, as you can see, are rising. We're up to about 2.48 today, uh, much higher. As we can see, we're this is our floor of support. This became our floor of support yesterday as it was a ceiling of resistance, and now this uh, second ceiling resistance now becomes the uh, first level of resistance and so far this morning it's breaking above that as well which could push us even further up so and as you can see we haven't been above this level for quite some time or at least in the last 30 days all right so again our rates have gone up uh, if you guys want to get more updates just come over to twitter uh, including that chart i just mentioned uh, about a minute or two ago uh, I'm underneath Mike Bjork on the Twitter account and just come over and check it out. You guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.